It is a lightweight showdown between Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Kevin Lee. All right, here's the Motown phenom, Kevin Lee, a man who many people envision as a future UFC lightweight champion. And I think if the performance against Edson Barboza is to be used as an indicator, this is a man who most definitely has championship chops. And after beating the consensus best striker in this division, confidence remains high, perhaps higher than ever, for the Motown phenom. This guy has world-class takedown defense. He is incredibly difficult to take down. And once you do get him down, he gets back to his feet very swiftly. So here is Charles Oliveira, grew up in the UFC, made his debut when he was just out of high school at 20 years old, all the way back in 2010. Outstanding Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner, 13 career wins by submission, the only calf slicer in UFC history, to his credit. Diego Lima shootbox, Macaco gold team under George Patino. Pro dating to 2008, the bulk of his pro MMA experience, Joe, has come right here on the big stage in the UFC. This guy has world-class throws. Look for his opponent to try to keep as far away from this man's clinch as possible. Because if he gets a hold of you, the results are devastating. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. Three years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Steen. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> This man is a wrestler, only a professional record of 17 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Kevin, the Motown Phenom Lee! And now can you see his opponent? This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 8 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Houston, Texas, Charles DeBrox. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm Great. very excited. Good. Round one. So here's the lightweight contender, the Motown phenom, Kevin Lee, back for more. He believes his destiny is to become a UFC champion, and he can take another step in that direction by getting the finish here tonight. Left kick to the body. Tries to mix in a takedown here. All right, so here we go with round one, and it doesn't figure to take him long to start to establish his kicking game, Joe. He's got some of the most powerful kicks in this division, and he does not discriminate. He'll go to the body, he'll go up top. Let's see how the early portions of this one play. And he's looking for that left. Pretty good shot there. Could get really interesting. He's got a move. He's in the Mount of Crucifix now. There's a nice left hand. He lands Big a elbow. huge elbow to the head. He's looking to pass. Darth choke.
locks it into position, turns towards his opponent. The choke is getting tighter and tighter. He may have to tap. Stunning. And there it is. Stunning, and he really made it look easy. Great job in establishing that submission. Yeah, so how about that, Joe? We can barely tell people what color the trunks are on these fighters, and we get the submission win. So not a lot of wasted time. He got the takedown early, and the submission came soon thereafter. Great effort, great technique here tonight. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Here once more, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 19 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Charles the Bronx. Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter sharing the moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward. Tonight, though, as I mentioned, all about the celebration, and it is on in the corner.